The project has taken off quickly. The old memorial has been removed, breaking ground for the new one. The neighbors that maintained the garden for so many years, excited to see the memorial revitalized. Can't wait to come home tomorrow and seeing it all done. The groundwork has been laid for a new memorial in honor of the Pettit family. Their lives were taken tragically during a brutal home invasion in 2007. People still will come here and sit and walk around and reflect and leave a lot of mementos. There's always been crosses left and a lot of things. We've collected them over the years. Anthony Ferriolo and his wife Kim have spent the years since maintaining the garden memorial that was erected where the home once stood. Over the years, the garden had become too difficult for them to maintain. I'm looking forward to this being more of a memorial and and a little less maintenance. The new design was put together by the Pettit Family Foundation. EA Quinn Landscaping has volunteered to build a 30-foot stone circle with benches, stepping stones, and a cobblestone walkway. A fountain will be placed in the center in the coming months. And what we're looking for is something totally self-sufficient. It's going to be solar powered. Uh, we're going to put a, a well in here. The new design includes some of the original memorial pieces. The three angel stone, crosses, and benches will be reused while some of the plants have been repurposed. Locally, this is a great project for the community. I think that the neighborhood will really embrace it, and so will the town, as they have in the past. The four o'clock flower, which was Michaela's favorite, will also take a prominent role in this memorial. The state had made that the first children's flower in her honor. To learn more about the Pettit Family Foundation, head to fox61.com. In Cheshire, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.